Hello, welcome to AQA Accounting. In this video, I'll be going through a section B question on paper two, 2020. Okay, so let's just uh, have a look. So section B question, let's have a look at the question first. So it is prepare statements to show revenue, contribution, profit or loss per week for each type X and Y. Okay, so we've got to produce a statement for both. Let's see what we have. So we've got two products, X and Y. The business uses activity-based costing when calculating the overheads, overhead cost to be assigned to each product type. So we've got two products. We've been told the number of units, the, the batches that they are made in, the material, labor, costs, the machine hours, the labor hours. Okay. And then it mentions that each batch requires machinery to be reset. The fixed production costs for machinery preparation total 44,160. And quality control is for every 300 units. And the fixed cost for quality control are 68,310. Everything that's produced each week are sold. So the assumption is there's no closing inventory. And the selling price is based on 80% markup. Okay. Now, for this question, you would probably want to start off, obviously, because it's a statement, you want to start off with the revenue. Okay. And it does tell you quite clearly that revenue, contribution, and profit, okay, for each product X and Y. So what we're going to do is I'll show you the template that I would draft up, and then we'll get started. So probably want revenue at the start, and you want X and Y. Two products, okay? So in terms of workings one, which is for revenue, obviously you've got two products X and Y, and the revenue is based on the variable costs. Now, these are your variable costs, okay? That would be probably um, your fixed costs, that would be fixed costs as well. So let's do those two first. So 33,750 and 42,500. And then we have 22,750 and 55,250. Now if we add that up, we get, what's that, 7576,250. And then we get, 77, 78, okay, that is the total, that's your total cost, that's labour, that's, mat that's mat sorry, material costs, labour costs, okay, that's your total cost, and then we are going to times this by 1.8 because it's markup, so we times by 1.8. So let me get a calculator for that. So that is 13725. Oh, that's our selling price. And 78 times by 1.8 gives me 14400. So that's your revenue there. Okay, let's put that in at the top. Okay, right, the next thing is variable costs. And we have material and labor. And they are what they are. Okay, they are what they are. And then we have a total, which we've already worked out really. So 
that's just come from here, the totals. SP, VC, then we have contribution. Contribution is revenue minus VC. R minus VC. Okay, let's work that out. 137250 minus 76250. That gives me 61,000. And 14400 minus 78,000 gives me 62,400. That's your contribution. Okay. Then we have the other costs, meaning the other two bullet points, workings two. Workings two, I'm going to start off with the, uh, the it's called machinery preparation. Machinery preparation costs. Now they are 44,160. However, it tells us each batch requires the machinery to be reset. Now, X is made in batches of 50, that's made in batches of 75. So if this is our cost, we have to divide it by something. What is that? Okay, how do we work it out? Now, X is made, we're going to make four and a half, meaning 4,500, in batches of 50. Okay, and that gives us uh, 90 batches. And Y is made in... 75s which gives us 48 the total is 138 batches so what we're going to do we're going to take our cost we're going to divide it by 138 batches and that gives us the price per batch every time we reset there is a cost 44 160 divided by 138 and that gives you 320 pounds and that's per batch okay now because that requires 90 batches and 48 we're going to times it by 320 to work out our cost okay so 90 times 320 90 times 320 is 28 800 and 48 times 320 is 15360. Always double check, add it up and double check. It should come back to the original figure of 44160 and it does. Okay, now just going to move that up a little bit, just there. Okay, now these figures here, this is machinery preparation for X28815 360. Okay, because we're making more batches that has more cost absorbed, less batches, less costs absorbed. Okay, absorption costing. Um, and then we have, th that's basically done. Let's move on to W3. Just going to check that it's actually going to fit in the camera. So I have about up to here. Okay, right, workings three. Uh, quality control. Quality control. Okay, so what does it mention? Um, quality control procedures for both products are conducted every 300 units. So again, X and Y. X, we are making 4,500. And the other one, we're making 3,600. And every 300 units, we have quality control. So divided by 300. Right, we've got 15 here. And 36 divided by 300, I think is what, 12? Okay, so again, similar format, if we add them 
together we get 27 lots of 300 and if we do the same format as I did above look the cost is 68310 divided by the total batches not batches the total lots of 300 is 27 divided by 27 uh, I'm not sure what to call that really but 27 lots okay uh, that equals to 68310 divided by 27 just over two and a half grand 2530 this is per 300 okay so it's 2530 per 300 now this because we've got 15 lots of 300 we're going to times it by 15 not times it by 15 times it by 2530 and we're going to times this by 2530 15 times 2530 gives me 37950 and 12 times 2530 gives me 3360 we're going to add it up just to double check that it equals the 68310 okay so 37950 plus 30 360 is 68310. So our figures are correct. They all match up again. Okay, and that's what we're after. So this can come in over here. And that can come in over there. That is a five, not a six. Okay. And that's our variable costs. that equals to contribution minus these fixed costs machinery preparation quality control okay and then that should equal to go back to the question calculate revenue we've done it contribution we have profit or loss per week okay and we haven't done that now Oh yeah, I just noticed something there. Look at this, it says per week. Don't start timesing it by four for a month or timesing it by 52 for a year. It says per week, the information is per week. Okay, so I mean, luckily we're doing everything as it gave us per week. If they gave us per month, then we'd have to divide it by four. So thankfully, you know, otherwise that catches a lot of people out. Anyway, going back to this, we've got, our, we've got that. Let's do our final profit figures. So I'm just going to do a tally. This is straightforward stuff which you can do yourself. Minus 37950. Right, this is actually a loss of 5750. Profit slash loss. Okay, 62400. Minus 15360. Minus 3360 is 16. Six eight zero. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, one one product has a profit, one has a loss. Um, let me just have a quick look at the loss scheme. See what's going on. So you'll have to bear with me for a moment. Um, we're on paper two, paper two, 2020. Let's have a look. Okay. So there's the mark scheme just there, which you can probably see. Let me just... Okay, so just a quick look over it. So we've got revenue, which uh, matches. We've got materials, they stay the same. We've got contribution, 61, 62, 4. Then we've got the machinery preparation and the quality control figures, okay, which are split based on the batch production method. And then we've got profit and loss, 
obviously we've got a loss there and a profit there. Um, but yeah, everything's all good, so I'm happy with that. I'll leave it there. I think there is a six marker question, obviously, typically six marker after, but I'll do that in a separate video, which is that one on over there. Should they change to absorption? Should they change back to absorption costing? I'm not sure, not had a read of that properly, but I'll have a look at this question and I will do a separate video on that shortly. All right, thank you for watching.